right. Okay, thank you everybody for jumping on. Okay. Oh, feedback. Uh, let me quick mute out the participants. Mute on. Okay, I have you guys muted so we can have a good recording, but um, this after I go through some things and as I go through some things, I want questions. Like this is definitely a place for us to, we all this information that we have to share with you, not that there's a ton of new stuff, but just some really good insights and things that we want to kind of tweak as we're going forward. I want you to chime in, either type in the chat box or ask questions, any of it. So I know we have a wide variety of people on here, some that's been with us for a while, all, we're trying to get everybody that's brand new, but I know there's people that weren't able to jump on. So Katie and I just got back. We spent the weekend in LA at Chad and Natita Chong's home with them, Nat Panaputra, their, Natita's father, and um, about 25 of the leaders here launching the U.S. It was a weekend that I don't think any of us will ever forget ever in our lifetime. It's not an opportunity that you get every day to spend such close time being mentored by the absolute best in your industry. And because I have, we have brand spanking new people on here to give some perspective to who they are. <laughs> that is Chad and Natita are number four in the entire world of all of network marketing. So with our company, they made $7.8 million last year. And Nat Pranaputra is number two in the world um, in all of network marketing. And truly, we call him the, the godfather. Like, he is a man filled with so much wisdom. And just getting to spend time in their home this weekend, you know, there was training, but there was bonding. And they're just truly, like, some of the most humble and down-to-earth people I've ever met. Just, I mean, we got in a circle around before dinner and prayed. We shared stories. We cried. Like, it was just an amazing, amazing weekend. But what we wanted to bring back to you right now is some of the things that we want to tweak um, based on kind of some of the things that we learned going forward. Um, but before I go into some of that stuff, I want to make sure everybody heard about the promotion today. Did, is there anybody that did not, that has no idea what I'm talking about? And actually, I know that there is, so because I know there's some people that are just brand spanking new. So I'm going to quickly cover it. Um, basically, our company has... We just had an incentive trip to the Dominican, and we want to have more people on incentive trips, and the company is providing us the opportunity to, as, as we are truly launching wave two of this company, and everything is amazing, and we have the best of the best coming on board from a leadership team, and just really launching WGN 2.0, they wanted to put some incentive trips in place that you can then earn as you just get your business started. It is pretty amazing how they've set the qualifications to it to just anybody. Anybody that signs up tomorrow can 100% earn this trip. I have been in the industry for five years, and this is easy, and I, I've been on every I, an incentive trip every year. This is the easiest qualifications I've ever seen for an incentive trip. Okay, so people, I think everybody on here is U.S. based. Our trip is to Hawaii. Okay, and um, basically, and for some people, this talk of sales volume might not even make a whole lot of sense yet, but, and we can talk offline and kind of dig into that a little bit more, but basically, all you have to do between now, tomorrow and September 1st is accumulate, or excuse me, July 31st, not September 1st, the trip is in July, <laughs> is accumulate 25,000 sales volume on your lesser leg. So every cycle, they will just look at whatever your lesser leg volume is and add it. And so this, where this is different from the traditional um, rank advancing, what we're used to is getting, we have to typically get a sales volume in a commission cycle. That does not apply for this. So they're just going to accumulate and accumulate and accumulate. And once you hit 25,000 total sales volume over the next 90 days, game on, we're all going to Hawaii. <laughs> Like, it's amazing. And I know there's going to be so many people from this team on that trip because of what they've done. And, and, and it, the part of the way they've designed it is so you also, they're incentivizing you by rewarding you for a business, uh, with a business trip. And you're also going to get, make money along the way, which is just, it's, it's, I've, I love the way they did this because it's going to be definitely both of those aspects. You're going to make some money and you're also, we're going to get to celebrate together in Hawaii. So any questions and just unmute yourself or type in the chat box. We have any questions on the incentive trip. Yes, it will be amazing. <laughs> yep. 
Yes, it's in September. Okay, any questions before I move on? Okay, and Katie, please, as I go, I know there's gonna be pieces that I forget, <laughs> so, or things I need to maybe spend a little more time on, so add in here, and I, as, as you're walking in your door and your kids are jumping on you, of course. So, okay, so that is the incentive trip. Um, the next thing that he really, really, or so this was Nat. We got to spend um, the first full day pretty much with Nat. And we've all, or most of us that have been here a while, have heard about the 557 system. But they really dug into it on a whole nother level that all of us, even though we've heard it before, it, we heard it in a very different way and heard different language that everybody feels really strong really strongly empowered to go forward and, and, and relaunch, help people launch, all of that. So us, even as at the diamond level, we're like starting over. We are completely, I am writing a new contact list and doing exactly what we're now telling you to do. So I want this, since we have people that have been with us for 24 hours, not even, <laughs> and up to the last 12 months, I'm gonna to speak to you as if we are all brand new, okay? So we are all relaunching our businesses tomorrow, okay? So of the 557 system, and I'm just gonna cover the first two five first. The first thing is that I want you to do, and everybody needs to do this, even if you've done it already, you need to rethink about it, and it's the why. Why are you here? Why do you wanna be a part of such a global movement launching the first ever technology-based network marketing company. Why? What will this do? Is it, some people, it's just the true growth of being a pioneer and a business person. A lot of people, it's to, <laughs> to make bank off the launch of this company, and that's okay, okay? I know for some people, it's like thinking of the money aspect. It's, that can be if you've never been able to have a vehicle that can bring money into your home, that can really impact you and your family's future, sometimes that's a little like, oh, that's, I've never thought about that before. Truly, we have a vehicle, okay? And with the right training and going forward, anybody can, I mean, if you would have just, I wish I could have just transferred everything from that, but that's what we're doing here is we're gonna transfer as best as we can what we got this weekend that every single person on this call truly has the ability to 100% transform their future with this opportunity right now, okay? But we're all gonna go through growth in a journey of personal development on the way to get there, okay? The people we are right now is not gonna be the same people we are when we, our life looks a whole lot different, okay? And I want everybody to, to appreciate that and enjoy it. Okay, don't look at it as like overwhelming or daunting. Enjoy the process because it's you. We have the best of as far as leadership development goes. I mean, I can't even compare it to, like on a tenfold exponential to anything I've ever seen before. So your why, and I want you to write it down. I want you to post it. Nat said, put it in the front of a notebook and journal this process. Because as you go through this journey too, you are going to have people then that you mentor that will go through some of the same challenges that you're about to go through in, in mental toughness and, and just all of it. So keep a journal on this process and the very front of it, put down your why and look at it every single day. Another thing kind of before, I'm gonna regress just a moment. Every day, because this is not related to getting started, but it's so, so good for anybody. Every morning, because we need to start our day with intention. Okay, and it's all, everything starts up here with your mindset and your heart. Okay, and I know we got a whole lot of cool, really good people on this team, so I'm not worried about the heart thing, but your heart and your vision with this company needs to be in the right place. But to have a positive mindset to go out and conquer the world like we're about to do, you need to have your head in the right place. So every morning, first thing, close your eyes before you get out of bed. If you need to set your alarm for one minute earlier, then you have to get out of that bed and smile. For 15 seconds, just smile. Inhale and exhale and focus on what you want for the day. What does today look like? Okay, it will change everything if you just do that one thing. Think of whether, I mean, just for not even your business, but within your, your day, your daily routine and you're impacting your family. If you just start out the day, not overwhelmed, not all that, but just start out your day with a smile. Okay. I know everybody has different things going on in life and 
trials and awesomeness. And I mean, everybody's life looks different and we all have stuff, but start your day with intention. Okay. So wanted to you start with that. And Nat gave us that. And that's what kind of one of the first things he started with us last Saturday. Okay. So the why, um, and it, uh, just, I want to tell a quick little story that he gave us. So when he was first started in network marketing or not, I don't think it was, he was first starting, but when Natita was a little girl, he was talked about, um, walking around the grocery store and she, how she would ask for, um, like a strawberry or cherries. And he said, can we get some grapes instead? And he didn't talk about cause they couldn't afford the strawberries, but just, it was that moment that he said when he was telling her, you know what, we, let's get the grapes. Okay. Is that okay, honey? This time he made a decision at that point that he never wants to have to say, no, we can't get the cherries because I can only afford the grapes or whatever the fruit was. I don't recall, <laughs> but he made a decision at that point in time that he was going to do whatever it takes to make that not their reality. And that became his first walk. Okay. So I wanted to transfer that vision for you also about just starting. They, that's where they started. Okay. And we all have some sort of story like that. Okay. I'm sorry. Is it bad? Is the noise bad? No. Good. Okay. Um, okay. The second thing is your goal. And again, everybody's goals are going to look differently, but you have to know where you're going or you're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> and it's think of a short term goal, like a 60 day window. And then always think of what does freedom look like? You know, and everybody's freedom is going to be, could be one year, two years, seven years. We're all going to age seven years. So if we can put something, if we can grow something over seven years and grow as people and completely change our life, oh well, if it takes seven years, right? So put, set a goal. Okay. And then I, and this is typically we'd be having some of these on one-on-ones. So we can't, there's a quite a few people on here, so we can't do that. So as if we were having this conversation personally, I want you to answer it in your head and write it down. So the goal, and then you have to decide, do I want to go fast or just kind of regular speed? And with that, what I mean is we have an awesome system with the three and the 30 minute videos where, I mean, we do them, the opportunity webinars live all the time. The regular speed is just using that system. Okay. Just, I mean, yeah, I'm going to just, I do my goals, it's okay if it's seven years. I'm not, you know, necessarily so like interested in it now. But the, what I, for the going fast, we want to help you launch. And this is kind of what I recommend. Even if, I mean, and this can be for people working full time. Like this is, this can be for, I don't want you to like limit your mindset. If like, oh, well, I, I'm pretty busy. So I don't, I can't go fast. By fast, we just mean that we want to specifically help you launch and get you off to a very strong start. So you're giving, making money right away because that first week story and everybody's like today, tomorrow is day one for all of us. That story can be leveraged as you go forward and talk to people also. Okay. So it's, so if you're, if you're super busy, like most everybody is, don't think that you can't be officially launched either as we go forward and kind of, and kind of explain what that looks like. Okay. And so Katie, myself, um, Cami, Sienna, we have quite a few team developer leaders on here. And when I say, so team developer, you've duplicated yourself. So it's kind of the start of the leadership ranks, but we have a lot of people that maybe not necessarily aren't there yet, but are still a leader. And we have a lot of people in between that are still leadership type people. Okay. That right now they've, you've, you've got some momentum going, you've started a little team. So the person, your upline leader, that's not a specific rank, okay? So just if you don't know who that would be for you, reach out to me and we'll connect and figure that out, okay? For a lot of people, it will be myself or Katie. But we have some other leaders on this team as well. So that leader is your coach, okay? And if you, we are the, we are the transfer of information right now from the best in the world, Okay. And once you add diamond, you guys are going to have all access to that. But at this point, we are that conduit in between. Okay. So we're going to, as we work with you, we're going to teach you and tell you, and then you just have to go out and do it <laughs> and do what the X's and the O's. And a lot of it is personal development as well. But I just want to put that, Nat really drove home, like how, if we're going to truly transform lives, cause that's what this is about. Nobody in this industry is successful without helping a lot of people be successful. We have to position ourselves truly as coaches. Okay. So I just want to kind of put that there a little bit. 
um, in this system where and they're gonna they're constantly developing us into better leaders that can then transfer and be better coaches to you as well okay so the next thing is building your list Katie and before I move on I don't know if you can, anything in there no, you're doing great. I, um, the thing with, um, I just want to touch on with Nat, you guys, he's so driven with mindset and belief and having trust in them so that, or in us, as we have that belief and trust from them. And he said, you have to remember that as you're going through this personal growth journey, that your most important real estate is in your mind. It is your brain and you need to protect that. So find someone who you no is going to get you in that right space, right head space, right freedom of mind, keep a positive attitude no matter how hard this gets, no matter how many no's you get, protect your real estate and don't go to someone who's going to wallow in it with you. Go to someone who's going to give you that belief and that trust that you need at that moment and let us be that for you. They, I mean, they've given us everything that we possibly could have needed this weekend. So we need you to trust and believe in us that we know where we're going with this, no matter if it's your first day or if it's your 365th day, tomorrow, today, it's day one. We're all starting all over together. Just borrow our belief. And Leah said this to me when she came back from Taiwan last year. She's like, Katie, or Thailand, excuse me. She's like, you have to believe me. She's like, after being with these people, she's like, you have to believe me in where this is going and I borrowed her belief until I got to diamond and I got the access and was able to see it for myself so please borrow it from us because you guys are all gonna be here and you're gonna get to see it firsthand for yourselves I have no doubt just please take it from us first until you get until you need what you have to protect your mind it is your most expensive real estate and he he pounded that into us so please do that yes that awesome thank you Okay, so the name, you're building your contact list. And I, like I said, I'm doing this over again. And I have my first launch call scheduled for Thursday night. <laughs> again, seriously, like day one tomorrow. So the, this is one thing that we, we, I mean, most everybody on here that's been with us for a while has heard of, you know, you've built a list. But I don't think we've done a good job at helping people understand to qualify their list. So we want you to make a list of at least, for sure, 100 people. Start with that. And if, whether you write it down or, again, do an Excel spreadsheet, across the top, put there, we, we want to qualify people that you want quality prospects. And this isn't a judgmental thing in any way, but it's the higher quality of prospects, the more likely you're going to move your business forward. That's where you want to start. So qualifying your prospects is they get a check mark for being 25 or years or older, married, children, homeowners, having a job, and then we, a meaning Seville in them, like added this also, network marketer or business owner. So then as you go through and you've, okay, you've brain dumped your list of 100 people, checkbox, what, what of those qualities that they have? And you're going to start with your fours and your fives or your fives and your sixes since we're including that other column of business owner network marketer. So that helps you know where to focus first. Okay. And if I don't necessarily need to dig into why all those things, but again, it's not a judgmental thing. It's just statistically people that are more driven, have things on the line, have some, you know, that motivation with the kids, business owner, you get it. So qualify that. Okay. So important. Like I'm not like tonight before I leave this airport, I have to have my new list written. I'm seriously starting over. Like I'm so excited to be just in day one with everybody. So then, then we're going to schedule a series or what we would like to do is schedule a series of launch calls for you guys. Okay. And that will just be with five people on the call because out of with five people on there, we should be able to get one team member for you. Okay. And again, starting with the quality prospects. That will help increase this. And we want to help you get to, even if you're already there, like you're again, like you have no team members, a team to team developer. Okay, or six enrollments. So now the going any questions on the contact list before I move on to inviting? Yep. 
Yeah. Now, I mean, he went, he's like this, and this is part of becoming the best coach. So you can have help people be as successful as possible. Every person get from them. What is their why? What is their goal? And then have them write their list and send you their list. And not that we need to like have your list, but see that you, you wrote a list, you have a list and we can help you look through it and be like, yep, yeah, you have any questions on how to qualify people just to see that that part's done. Cause we all know for those of us that have been here for a while, we all know that some people sign up and just never do anything. <laughs> so before we kind of go forward and helping you launch your business, we want to see that you're doing the steps that we know that will make you successful. Yes. Right, Robin? Like it was so easy in the beginning. The more you know, so those of us, the, for those people that are brand spanking new, consider yourself in a really good position because the more you know, the more complicated sometimes this can be. We way overcomplicate it. <laughs> All right. Sarah, what do you mean new people? Should we all new people or are we going back to a warm list, people we've talked to before and reached out to? It can be. Definitely. Anybody. Yep. Whatever you, okay. th if you think there's somebody that's like, yeah, because I, I have people that I reached out to a year ago that I, I'm definitely going to circle back around. I still have a ton of people in my war market list that I've never prospected. <laughs> Seville gets really mad at me when I tell them that. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, you mix. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So then going forward now to inviting, and this is where things are, um, we've gotten some new suggestions and, um, and for those that have been around for a while, I don't want you to get frustrated in that. Well, this isn't how we were taught. And if I would have been taught this, maybe things would have, you know, I would have had different outcomes because that will not serve you. Okay. We all, we have a bunch of different leaders here and they're all very good and they have their own ways of doing things. So what we have to always keep in mind is being flexible and being, stay authentically us. Take some of these frameworks and be still state within you. If you ever get a, if you're messaging somebody, if you ever give a message back and somebody's like, Carla, is this, have you been hacked? I don't know if this is really you. You know, you're not being authentically you. <laughs> Whenever I hear that, I'm like, stop it. <laughs> you still take what we're teaching, but say it in the way that you would talk to people, right? Especially for your warm network. Okay. So here's some ways that you can invite people to these. We're going to do, what we want to do is do four calls with everybody of five five people each. Okay. As you work through this, let your list. And then on the fifth one, and this is how we then transfer it. Cause the whole beautiful thing about this industry is, is leveraging becoming a coach yourself and then teaching others to be coaches. And if that's for anybody that's maybe on it's like, Oh my gosh, now you're talking about being a coach. I haven't even had a launch call yet. <laughs> that's I'm kind of showing you the big scope here. Because as you do that, then you leverage your time and then you will do the same going forward, but you will grow in development. So when that times come, you will be fully prepared for that. That was when I was my first weekend, I wasn't like, oh yes, I'm going to be a coach. <laughs> okay. So the fourth, fifth call we do with you, we then help you do it. So we lead the call for you. Maybe even the third or fourth one, we can just help. We'll do part of it. You do part of it. And then the fifth one, we want to see that you can do it. Because too, as you grow through this, when you come, you need to be at some point, be able to present to people the information on our business overview. But again, if that freaks you out, don't let it. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. So inviting. And this is not said he, like he makes sure people, because we don't want people to go out and, you know, blow through their contacts and say too much. Because if people, if we say too much, people will form an opinion and decide if they're interested before they really understand what it is that we're sharing with them. Because I, I just traveled across Wyoming with Cami and her team and Sherry, and every single person that was in that room either is going to be a customer or is coming on as a team member. Don't, and if they're coming on, not ready to do the business, it's just because they're not in a space in life where they can, but they all, because they got the full picture of what we're doing, all of them were like, wow. <laughs> so, but when we talk to people and sometimes we, you know, again, say too much. They, they're like, yeah, I'm not interested, but they don't, they have no idea what they're not interested in. So getting people onto these calls, we want you to say the least as possible. In fact, if they say, what does it say? Just trust me. <laughs> Cause typically these are your warm market people still. Okay. So a few different ways. And again, take, take these different options and say, oh yeah, that's something I would say, or I like that. I'm going to tweak a little bit like this. Okay. So for people that are just your friends, like legit, like you, you're the, they're the ones you call at when you're just like, I need to talk to somebody that your close network, 
So just say, based on our friendship, will you give me 30 minutes of your time to evaluate something? And if somebody says, what is it? Just say, just be, trust me. How long have we been friends? Just trust me. <laughs> I don't want to get into it because I have somebody that's amazing that's going to share the whole picture. Just trust me. Okay, I'm, and I'm going to, there's two pieces to this. It's the invite and then the edification. Okay, and I'll, so I'm going to talk about a couple of the invites and then I'll talk about the edification piece. Okay, second option. And in this, also this will be tweaked based on who you're talking to. Not every, like a lot of people could benefit from more money. Most people, honestly. <laughs> but some people, that's not what drives them. So if you come at them being like, hey, I have a way that you can make six figures this year, some people might get like, <laughs> you know, that won't speak to them. So if this is your small market, typically you'll know kind of what will speak to somebody. But for people that are, you know, the reds, the money motivated, driven entrepreneurs, just saying, if I had an opportunity to make over six, over six figures next year, launching a technology company, would you be open to checking out some information? Give me 30 minutes of your time. Okay, so very, very simple. Or if I found a way to make a fortune in tech, do you, would you want to know about it? So if we're getting away from the five questions, kind of, and you can, um, sometimes, not to say that some of that is bad, like the, are you familiar with Fitbit? I still use that. I just don't, that's not how I prospect everybody. If I'm trying to help somebody understand, I'm like, okay, well, you know what a Fitbit is, right? And this is not inviting to one of these launch calls, but it's out in everyday conversation. Because we don't even want, we don't even need to tell them that it's wearable tech at this point. Just say, get on this call. Um, and so Natita, she was saying, so when she has people that are like, well, what is it? Just trust me. <laughs> It's about you meeting somebody that has results that you would really like to have and has been through, you know, pioneer this and just get on and just trust me. Again, this is warm market stuff. Um, or in, know, in getting to know people, knowing what people, for those in your warm market, when you, if you're like, I know that they love to travel and they don't need, they don't get to travel nearly as much. Hey, Sally. If I had a way, I know how much it means to your family to travel and it, you don't, I know you don't get to do it nearly as much as you want. If I had a way that you could travel with your family anytime, anywhere, would you, would you give me 30 minutes of your time to show you something? You know, what, again, knowing that person, what will speak to them? So the second part of this is edifying the presenter then, because you need to set up whoever is doing that launch call to be in a position to, of authority, of expertise, to then, so that prospect, because they're getting on because they like and trust and respect you, but we need, they don't know, it. they won't likely know this presenter, so we, they need to be able to respect that person as a business person, so we can then, as a presenter, close it for you, okay? So you just need to edify, and so, and I, that's, I don't think that's, we haven't, we are do good at edifying when we introduce somebody, the leader on a call, but I don't think we're good at edifying as we're inviting to a call edifying who that person is we don't do it consistent enough so for example if I was doing your launch call and we'll have everybody within this organization that's doing these launch calls um, we'll we'll make sure we get a sheet put together with here's how we, some an idea of how you can edify them so for me it would just be okay, okay so say you've calling your friend Sally okay I have something I need you to evaluate I I respect you as an entrepreneur and you know I love you to death so you have to see this. Please come have 30 minutes of your time. Well, what is it? Oh, just get on the call. There's a, I have a gal that she's going to lead the call. She has a background in public health and did health promotion for the Air Force. But she is one of the leaders here launching this company worldwide and is being mentored by one of the, the top in the industry. So can you just get on the call and hear what, her perspective on how, why this is so significant and why it can, you know, depending on what you invited them with, it can help you travel the world. It can change your financial situation and get you out of paycheck to paycheck. It can make you, I know you've been successful, but you'd like to be more successful. She has what you want <laughs> and get them on the call. Okay. So it's that invite, simple invite and then edify. Katie, anything to add from there? No, nope, you're killing it. Okay. Keep going. All right. Um, so the other thing then the process of that Natita went in and shared 
when you're caught, cause getting on the phone with somebody and again, keeping it brief, you have to be urgent. You're, you're about to walk into a meeting. So you don't have a lot of time to talk and that eliminates them asking a bunch of questions Just say, Hey, I just have a minute. Is this a good time? That's one. Okay. So if you're calling somebody, is this a good time? Number two, transferring enthusiasm. They have to feel you are super excited. And the enthusiasm, the last part of that, am I sold or I am sold myself. So your energy is coming across as, oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm totally missing on something if I don't figure out what the heck she's so excited about. Or he, he or he, they. Give them a compliment, genuine. You know what, you're, you're such an amazing nurse. You're, you're such a great friend. You're such a driven individual. You succeed in everything you do. You have to see this. Compliment them. Um, offering a disclaimer, this may or may not be for you, but I, and there's different ways you can do that. Just this may or may not be for you. It could be just as simple as that. Or I didn't want you to a year from now say, why the heck didn't you tell me? That's another good disclaimer. Again, depending on the person you're talking to. And then close with your objective. And the objective is to invite to one of these calls and giving them two options. So ideally you set up two. Like maybe you do one Thursday and one Saturday. So you always want to give people two options. So it's not a yes and a no. Can you not a can you get on? It's can you get on on Thursday at eight or Friday at three or whatever. Okay. Close with the objective. So urgency, those five steps, and giving options. Is this helpful? You ready? Good. Okay. Um, okay. And just uh, some other few little notes I had on inviting, just like, cause honestly you can be prospecting just by out in everyday life. It's just a matter of talking to people, asking questions and listening more and you'll hear what a hot button is. You know, it's just listen, ask questions and listen. <laughs> Chad shared an experience where he's like, he asked somebody like, well, if I could help you make a hundred thousand a month or a year, I don't remember what the number he was. And they're like, I can do that. I do do that. And they're like, oh, that wasn't your hot button. So he's like, I should have asked more questions. It was a good learning lesson for me. All right. No, I was, it was, if you can, if you would, if you could travel the world and he like has two private jets. So he does, he's like, I do travel the world <laughs> anytime. <I'll... laughs> okay. So that is as far as we want to go because that's what we need people to master right now. Okay. Defining your why. Deciding what your goal is, writing it all down, creating your list, qualifying it, and then get your, I mean, you can use this as you decide, you know, you're like, I don't want to do a launch call. You can just invite people. We have the three minute video and the, the 30 minute webinars that are having all the time are recorded. We recommend if for every, anybody that wants to, to schedule a launch call with your upline and to help you work through that list. One thing that Natita said she always uses that she said is really good when you're talking to someone who um, maybe doesn't necessarily quite understand what's going on, but she's like, she always uses the, you can do this, can't you? And she's, she said she uses that line all the time when she's talking to people. So whether it's like, hey, you can get on a 30 minute webinar for me, can't you? And she's like, it's one of those things where people don't want to generally feel like they are being you know, competed or they're not, um, how did she say that? It was really good how she expressed it. Um, capable. Say it again. Capable. Not yes, able to do you. something. Yes, they're not capable of doing something. Thank you, Denise. So she always uses that, well, you can do this, can't you? And they're always like, well, yes, of course I can do it. And she's like, all right, well, let's go then. <laughs> all right, get on. Let's do it. So it was really cute. She's just like, um, I don't know. She, she's like, we're going to have to like truly carry a lot of hats and wear a lot of hats throughout this journey. And so she's like, just don't feel like you have to be stuck with one simple script, but use what generally works for the person that you're talking to. They're your warm market. You're going to know them best. And like Leah said, if you want to stick to the three minute, 30 minute system and you do not want to do a launch, that's okay too. And so there was something, let me see. Um, basically Nat said, for those of you that are inviting that do not already have a list and you've already started inviting, you've already started off wrong. The list is so, so important. And he's like, because without the list, you're not understanding who's 
you know, you're not most qualified. Then from there, you're not understanding, like, then where do I follow up from here? The fortune is in the follow up. And so it's just one of those things where they just drove home with us that you have to have a list and you need to qualify that list. And that's something we will do with you. Once you have your list, you have it ready, sit down with your upline and who's qualified and who's going to do your launch or even the 330, that's fine too. But who do we want to get your reach outs to first? You don't want to go to someone and then them say, oh, well, I was already approached by so-and-so. Or you want to be able to get to your warm market first. Yes. I just found one other note that I thought was really cute. So he... Nat said, every time you get a no, because you've got to take the emotion out of the decision. You're just a collecting a decision and seeing if somebody's open. This is not personal. And many of you have heard us say this before, but it's like as if you're saying, hey, do you want this piece of gum? And somebody's like, no, you wouldn't get offended. Okay, you're just seeing if somebody's open. For every no you get when somebody's like, no, no, thank you. I don't want to get on, no, whatever. Or if, as you're talking to people at the opportunity, write a zero. Write a zero. And then when you get a yes, write a one in front of the zero. Because it, sometimes it only takes one. And it was better to have the visual. <laughs> but he would put six zeros and then he put a one in front of it. So it was one, six zeros, one million dollars. <laughs> that was so cute. Yeah. Um, another thing too, um, and Tita said she uses all the time is obviously it, their figures are a lot greater than ours, but keep your figure level blank when I say this. If you could make an extra $500 a week, would you give me three minutes of your time? Or if you're building towards an event, or you're building towards a webinar that evening, if you could make an extra $500 a week, would you give me 30 minutes of your time tonight? And she's like, I use that all the time and she goes for her she she originally said it and she's like if you can make an extra hundred thousand dollars a week would you give me and we were like oh <laughs> so put your number in depending on who you're talking to if you're talking to a business owner or someone who already is making six figures break it down in your mind as to how much do they already make so that way it's applicable to them and just let them know that it's an extra source of income it's just an additional source of income. It doesn't mean they have to leave their jobs. It doesn't mean that they have to give up what they're already doing and what they already love. But if they can make an extra $500 a week, will they give you 30 minutes of, your of their time tonight? Or for those of you that are in Fargo for tomorrow night or Grand Forks on Wednesday with Leah and I, hey, if you can make an extra, an additional $500, would you give me 30 minutes or 60 minutes of your time tomorrow night and come check this out? Just you're asking as a favor and you're putting it in their mindset of them being like, okay, well, what is it? Hey, just come check it out. We're, I'm learning along with you. Let's, let's, you know, it's one of those things. And so Natita said that she approaches 90% of her people with, hey, when it comes to keeping your options open, would you like to make an extra hundred thousand dollars a week? Let's have a chat. She's like, that's initially how I come off to 90% of the people. And Natita's network, because they've been in the network marketing industry for 20 years, she's got a lot of network marketers. That, that's who they prospect primarily. So that's where she can, I mean, for us Midwesterns, if we said that, people would be like, you're on crack. <laughs> so fill in the blank. <laughs> okay, any other questions or anything? There's one thing I want to share with you guys before we go, because I know your time's, we got to go. Nat sat down with us, and before he even started walking us through the 557 system and breaking it down, he talked to us about not allowing yourself to be controlled by five things. So I just want to run through these real quick, because I thought that this was very, very important for you to understand your mindset, your belief, and your trust in this. So there's five things that he said, do not allow yourself to be controlled by one, past. Do not be stuck in your past, whether you've had great success or a great failure. Do not allow yourself to be focused and stuck in that. We're starting today as day one, and your future starts now. So please, number two, do not be stuck in other people's opinions and judgments. Do not allow yourself to be stuck in what other people think, what their judgments are, where they have seen anything about the company or yourself or personally, professionally, you name it. Do not allow yourself to be controlled by other people's opinions and judgments. Three, do not allow yourself to be controlled by your limited belief in yourself. He said, Chanita has the largest belief he has ever seen. 
He's like, she knows that this is going to change the history of network marketing. And she portrays that 100% on an absolute daily basis. Um, um, he said, basically, um, 80% of the people that have left and have gone to crypto, he's like, they're, they're coming back. He said, the leaders, they're coming back. And he said, he knows there will be 90 million people that are going to be coming into, that are going to eventually come into world. And he said, so you guys have to not control yourself by a limited belief in yourself, because that's what happened with a lot of people who left in this last year. He's like, they're coming back. And he's like, it's exciting to see, but for those of you that have gone through this um, and you've not lost belief in any of that, he's like, good for you, congratulations. Um, let's see, um, he's like, he's, he told us, you guys, numerous times this weekend, and then Dave came in the, following, the last day and reiterated that they believe our company will be a $10 billion company. And he said, even if we hit a billion by 2020, he said, he believes we will be a $10 billion company. We'll be the largest network marketing company in the history of the world. And he said, I have no doubt. He said, I believe that. If you don't believe that, steal my belief. Number four, um, do not let yourself be controlled by your relationship. Some will quit. Do not let that control your mindset. It might be your upline. It might be your downline. That's okay. You continue on your own path, your own journey, and enjoy the journey. Um, and he's like, if someone leaves, Please do not burn bridges with them. Please let them know, hey, okay, good luck. I wish you much, much success and God bless you in your journey. He's like, that is the three things I say to every single person that leaves. He's like, I do not burn a bridge because I know that they'll come back. He's like, it's okay. So he always says, good luck. I wish you much success and God bless you. And then last but not least is money. Do not chase the money, please, he said. Do not chase. Enjoy the journey, enjoy where we're going with this. And um, just all you have to do is wear it and share it and let me like the world know where we're going. Um, and he said, just make the living from what you get. Um, or it's not, it's making the living, it's not making the living from what you get. It's making the life um, from what you give. And he said, the more that you give in life, the more you're going to receive. And he's like, the, he's like, I stand by these five things. And he's like, and I want you guys to all have that mindset as well. So it was, oh, what was number three? Sorry, kids. Number three was, do not allow yourself to be controlled by limiting your belief in yourself. Any questions before we go, guys? And when he was saying, don't chase the money, like naturally through doing all this, the money will come but just having the right mindset about it all and just going out there and do and doing the daily routine, sharing it, helping people all that, all the stuff comes, but just don't make it. I mean, that's why we're here. A lot of us, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. <Someone. laughs> but just, yeah, for the, as far as don't chase it, chase how to change people's lives. Cause we have a vehicle and he shared a really powerful video that I'm going to put in our team Rhino chat. Um, once I got to find it, it's Google search it, but a really powerful video um, that really set the stage for that, for the, the vehicle that we have to change people's lives around the world. Is that the one with the father daughter? Yeah. Okay. I'll post it. I have it. Okay. It's really so you guys, the, that team Rhino newsfeed, like I'm assuming everybody's on it and seeing it because that are on this call, but I know there's a lot of people and at Facebook algorithms, I, after a while, I know it probably stops notifying you. Just check that once a day. Um, cause that's, uh, there's going to be so much awesome stuff coming forward as we continue to again, transfer everything. So just check it once if you need to turn off the notifications cause they're at work and it drives you crazy. Check, turn them off, but just check it once a day so you can kind of keep up on things and, and we'll keep the chat again, keep the chatter out of it. And just so we can be sharing information out to you. Um, but just definitely make sure you see it. Okay. Good to go. Molly, I just posted it in our Team Rhino news feed. It was really, really good. And that's what Nat was telling us to focus on. It was good. Okay, guys, please reach up to your uplines, get your list going, qualify your list with your upline and who's going to be helping you do a launch. Or if you decide to not do a launch, go with the 330 system. But if you need a three-way call, that is your last and final. Allow us to help you in any way that we can. Mm -hmm. 
awesome. Molly, it is a private Facebook message feed. If you're not on Messenger, please get on Facebook Messenger. And it's called Team Rhino News Feed. I'm going to make sure you're in it, Molly. Awesome. Hey, guys. Everybody have a great night. Again, reach out to us just like Katie said, and we're really, really excited to all start over fresh with you for, with WGN 2.0. I'm relaunching too. We're yes. all starting <laughs>